morning children how are you hoping all of you are fine and safe dear students in the previous class we have seen chapter number ap 3 percentage till question number 13 now today we are going to start next question this is our next question question number 16 of the 200 items sold by a shopkeeper on a particular day 46% were newspaper 25% were pens 12% were books and the rest were other assorted item find the number of each item sold so let us see how we'll solve this question newspaper sold 46% newspaper were sold pen sold 25% book sold 12% so total items were sold by adding all these three items we'll get it 83% now remaining were assorted item so how will find out the remaining items 100 minus 83 it is out of 183 percent percent means out of 100 so out of 100 83 are these three items some of these three items so remaining will be 100 minus 83 is equal to 17 percent so this 17 percent is assorted items now let us find out the number of items sold number of newspaper sold is equal to 46% of 200 let us find out 46% percent will 46 upon 100 into 200 this 200 will cancel out 46 to the 92 so newspaper 92 is being sold now second part number of pen sold 25% of 200 it means 25 upon 100 into 200 so 200 will cancel out 25 to the 50 So 50 pens were sold. Third number of books sold. 12 percent of 200. It means 12 by 100 into 200. So 0 0 will cancel out. 20 12 into 2 that is equal to 24. So books 24. 24 books were sold. Number of assorted items sold. 17 percent of 200. It means 17 upon 100 into 200. 0 0 will cancel out. 17 to the 34. Therefore 34. assorted items were sold this will be our answer now let, let us see next question a and b are business partner a receives 38% of the profit if b share was rupees 15500 in a particular year find the total profit that year let us see how we'll solve this question B's profit is equal to how much B is B is getting profit. A is getting thirty eight percent. So B the remaining will be B's profit. So hundred minus thirty eight is equal to sixty two percent. This is B's profit. Let the total profit be X. So sixty two percent of X is equal to five thousand five hundred. So sixty two by hundred into X is equal to five thousand five hundred. Six. Therefore, sixty-two x is equal to fifteen thousand five hundred into hundred. We'll make it a cross multiplication. So x is equal to fifteen thousand five hundred into hundred upon this sixty-two will become the denominator. Now let us simplify this. Let us divide both this number by two. Two thirty-one is sixty-two and two fifty is a hundred. Thirty-one five is a fifteen one five five. So it will be five hundred. So five hundred into fifty that is equal to twenty five thousand. X is equal to twenty five thousand. It means total profit is twenty five thousand rupees. This will be our answer. Let us see the next one in a straight con in a straight contest between two candidates. The loser gets thirty eight percent of the vote polled and lost by sixteen thousand eight hundred votes. Find the total number of votes polled. Let us see how we'll solve this question. Dear students, here also we will assume let the total vote polled be x. So loser get thirty eight percent of x is equal to thirty eight by hundred into x. Of will convert it into multiplication. So it will be thirty eight x by hundred. Now winner got hundred minus thirty eight because thirty eight is the lo losers. Percentage, so winner will get the remaining means hundred minus thirty eight of x. It means thirty eight minus a hundred uh, minus thirty eight is equal to sixty two percent of x. 
that is equal to 62 by 100 into x is equal to 62x by 100. According to the question, it is written that uh, in a straight contest between two candidates, the loser get 38% of the vote polled and the and lost by 16,800. It means their difference is 16,800. This is the winner's poll and this is loser's. So their difference is equal to this much. So let us take it their LCM will be 100 and here 62x minus 38x is equal to 16,800. So 62 minus 38x is equal to 24x by 100 is equal to 16,800. Now by making a cross multiplication 24x is equal to 16,800 into 100. So x is equal to 16,800 into 100 upon 24. Now let us divide this number. 24 7 ja 168 so here it will be 700 into 100 that is equal to 70,000 therefore total vote polled is equal to 70,000 this will be our answer see the next one is of the total runs made by the Indian team during a cricket match Sachin scored 44 percent and Dhoni scored 39 percent if Sachin scored 30 runs more than Dhoni find first part the score of the Indian team and second the run scored by Sachin. Let us see how we will solve this question. Let the total run made by Indian team be X. So Sachin scored 44% of X is equal to 44X by 100. Dhoni score is 39% of X that is equal to 39 by 100 into X that is equal to 39X by 100. According to question, Sachin's score is 30 runs more than Dhoni. It means 44x by 100 minus 39 by 100 is equal to 30. So let us take it there LCM. LCM will be 100. So here 100 1 100 1 44x that is equal to 44x minus 100 1 100 1 into 39x equals to 39x is equal to 44x minus 39x is equal to 5x by 100 is equal to 30. So 5x by 100 is equal to 30 by making a cross multiplication 30 into 100 x is equal to here if we will make it a cross multiplication so it will be 30 into 100 so x is equal to this 5 will become the denominator by solving this 5 6 are 36 into 100 that is equal to 600 it means what we have assumed that Indian team scored 600 runs India scored 600 runs now we have to find out the Sachin's run 44 percent of 600 is equal to 44 into 600 by 100 this 200 zero zero will cancel out 44 into 6 is equal to 264 so this 264 runs is Sachin's score this will be our answer next one is A's salary is 50 percent higher than B's by what percent is B's salary lesser than A's let us see here we will assume let the B's salary be 100 and a salary is 50 percent more than b salary it means 50 percent of x is equal to 50 and this 50 more than 50 rupees more than b salary it means a salary will be 100 plus 50 that is equal to 150 now b salaries is lower than a salary b by how much 150 minus 100 is equal to 50 50 rupees b salary is 50 rupees less than a salary so percentage less of B salary is 50 into 100 by A salaries means 150. So 53 is a 150, 100 by 3 that is equal to 33, 1 by 3 percent is equal is our answer. Next question is in a monthly test Sachin scored 97 out of 100 in mathematics, 69 out of 75 in science. 123 out of 150 in Hindi and 42 out of 50 in English. First part, in which subject was his performance the best? Second, in which subject did he perform the worst? And third, what was his aggregate performance? Let us see. Dear student, in this question, we will start like this. First, in mathematics, Sumit scored 97 out of 100. It means 97%. In science 69 out of 75 it means how much percent 69 by 75 into 100 to convert this number by into 
percentage we have to write down 69 by 75 into 100 now let us simplify this 25 3 is a 75 and 25 4 is a 100 now 3 23 is a 69 so 23 4 is a 92 percent in science he scored 92 percent in hindi 123 out of 150 so let us convert this into percentage 123 upon 150 into 100 so this 0 0 will cancel out 5 3 is a 15 5 2 is a 10 and 3 41 is a 123 now 41 2 is a 82 percent in hindi in english 42 out of 50 so let us convert it into percentage 42 upon 50 into 100 so 50 to the 142 to the 84 percent so let us see therefore in mathematics his performance is the best the highest marks he is getting in mathematics 97 percent the first question is in which su subject was his performance the best in mathematics second part is in which subject did he perform the worst sabse kharab kis mein kiya isne total uh, in hindi his performance is worst because in hindi he is getting only 82 percent lowest marks and aggregate for finding the aggregate total marks in all the subject for finding the aggregate percent we have to add all the marks obtained by that student and total marks so 197 plus 69 plus 123 plus 42 that is equal to 331 he scored in all this test out of total marks of four subject is 100 plus 75 plus 150 plus 50 that is equal to 375 now let us convert it into percentage 331 upon 375 into 100 so first what we will do we will divide this number by 5 575 is a 375 and 520 is a 100 again by 5 515 is a 75 54 is a 100 now when we will multiply 331 into 4 that is equal to 1324 by 15 after dividing we will get it 88 4 by 15 percent this is our aggregate marks so this will be our answer